Hey, greetings and salutations from Lone Wolf Custom Painting. It's been a while. Um, this has been a rough summer. Uh, we lost Daddy in June and uh, just lost Baby Brother in September. So things have been kind of jammed up. Uh, just to let you know what's been going on around here, uh, shop-wise, uh, we're continuing to work on the Patreon channels, uh, 68 Dodge Charger Factory stock build. Uh, went out to see uh, Mr. James Pardini and he can be found on Facebook with his auctions. Uh, we stopped in, saw him, got to take a peek at some of the new Atlantis uh, kits. Uh, Jim had the 116th scale uh, Green Elephant Funny Car. Uh, very nicely done. They Hats off to him. They did a great job uh, revamping the kit. Also got to glance at the former Tom McEwen funny car, the 57. Uh, also, nice job on that. Uh, nice and clean. Uh, chrome trees look good on it. All the way across the board, excellent kit. Um, for those of you that might be interested, uh, our next Patreon channel project will be the Racer's Wedge. And we're going to do a um, gasser, funny, uh, gasser uh, build up. Um, I'm going to use the Delray and uh, naturally put the gasser front end, fuel injected motor in it. Uh, what else is going on? There are some new ports, uh, new guys coming up with uh, Off the Sprue, company out of Canada. Uh, Mike the Sorbo picked up. Uh, some parts for me, order them for me, I sent them the money, and uh, aluminum, uh, pulleys, whatnot, excellent and very good prices. Uh, let me see, what else? Oh, it was brought to my attention that uh, a couple guys were upset with me because I didn't friend them on Facebook when they sent a request. Look, it's nothing personal, uh, but uh, I don't play in a political game and uh, those individuals uh, you know they lean more towards playing in politics than they do with the model cars it's nothing personal it's your choice you do what you want to do but uh, that's just something that I don't want to deal with and like I said if that's your thing that's your thing but I respectfully step away from it also uh, I was brought up um, <laughs> I was uh, told that uh, my plumbing is half-assed. Now we were what they were referring to was uh, my build-up for my airbrushes, and uh, <clears throat> this is just a little educational thing. I spent 48 years as a stationary engineer. I played with pneumatics every sing just about every single day of my working life. Um, they are not to be treated lightly they are not to be taken lightly and here is my take on this plastic as compared to black iron there's no comparison uh, plastic line can split plastic line can get stretched uh, plastic line lets go at 100 psi you and you're in an enclosed area when you're airbrushing you're going to take a beating and uh, it's just not good. Uh, it might not be pretty, but my setup is effective. And also, it's a proven scientific fact that when, you ra when you're waving plastic around, I've noticed some individuals and some companies sell the spring-loaded uh, plastic-wrapped air hose. Now, it's great. You can slip it over your arm. And go back and forth that's all cool but when you're moving that plastic line through the air you're creating a static electric charge and whatever's floating in the air Murphy's going to make sure that it lands in your paint job so that's twofold first one safety second one has to do with getting garbage in your finish now we are going to try an experiment uh, it continues to be, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, a problem where the newbies and guys coming back into the hobby 
um, are asking basic questions. And um, more often than not, they get told, you know, go look through the search machine. Well, it's one thing to go back and look through. Um, some of these older gentlemen, they don't have the computer skills. And also, it, it's kind of frustrating when you're just asking a basic question and somebody just blows you off completely and says, go and search it. So, what we decided to do, what do we have, 20 now? About 20, about, that. about 20 videos. It answers the most basic questions that are asked on a regular basis. And once again, my opinion based on my experience, what well, this is what we're laying out. Um, they're not going to be prolonged. They'll be 8, 10, 15 minutes long tops. But like I said, I feel that it helps the hobby. Um, for the most part, it's for the new guys. It's for the guys that have been away from this for a long time and they're coming back into it and just don't know. Um, also, who knows? Maybe old dog teaches new trick to uh, somebody that uh, you know builds on a regular basis. And like I said, this is an experiment. It'll be one a week. We'll throw it up there, and we'll see how this rolls. If it's successful, then we will continue to uh, do so. So that's about it for me. Um, like I said, apologize for the. Uh, absence for lack of a better term but uh, life gets in the way sometimes and uh, there's a lot more that's uh, important than this right now so until the next time god bless i hope y'all are doing well stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you soon it's your man from Linwood custom painting and we're out